Okay, guys, stream elements is amazing what you can achieve with stream elements on your stream, but the interface looks a little bit different from any other program that you might use. So today we look into it. I'm going to teach you five minutes or less. I'm going to try to make it very, very short so that you can start stream straight away. So let me roll the intro and then we get straight into it. All right, guys, welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me. This is Eta Gaming. I am Matteo, and today we're going to look into Stream Elements. Stream Elements is an amazing interface. It lets you get beautiful alerts. It lets you manage many different things. But as I was saying, it has a strange interface. So today we're just going to go and look into it, how to set it up quickly for your first stream. So you just turn it on and you're ready to go live. All right. So let's go. All right, guys, this is the Stream Elements website. As soon as you get here, you'll be asked to log with your preferred streaming method. I'm going with Twitch, so I just click on Twitch and here it is. This is the main dashboard of Stream Elements. Now I'm going to make the five minutes start right now. So let's see how it goes. So boom. All right. So once you're here, basically you see everything you have to see, right? You have on your left all your options. As you can see, you have alerts and overlays. You have my partnership, so you can have programs for tips and subscription. You have the revenue with tipping revenue and as emerge, so you can actually build your merchandise stuff on it. Okay, so what you have to do is start and create a blank overlay. We click on it. It will ask you the resolution. The resolution is actually what you have in your OBS. So if you have 4K, you're going to have to put 4K here, but I have 1080. So we leave 1080 and we start. OK, this is what Stream Element is all about. And this is how it's so easy to use, because all you see right now, all this area right here, this is all a blank canvas. That is actually what the viewer will see when you stream. So to start, we start by pushing the plus button and this will let us add an, uh, a widget. So we're going to put an alert box. This alert box is just basically the space where the alerts will happen. You can move it anywhere you want. Uh, let's say we want to put it over the image, over my face right now. So boom, there you go. Right. So inside here you have all the settings and you can choose what alert you want to show on this layer and what you don't want to be shown because you can actually have different layers for each um, alert. Why? Why you need that? Because let's say, for example, you have uh, a raid or you have a moment where a lot of followers are into your channel and they are like subscribing, but they are also following. What I prefer is to have like the sub uh, popping out the very moment that somebody subscribes. So what you can do, for example, untick the subscriber. In this moment, if we go to emulate and we try to subscribe, nothing happens because we unticketed. Uh, just to show you, followers still work. Then what we can do is go back on the layers here. We add a new layer, all right? Or we simply go in the gadget here and add another alert box. And we can put it like close to it, just not in the same spot, but close to it. And then we can untick everything but the subscriber. Now, if we go into subscribe, boom, we have a subscriber. And if we want to do the follower event now, of course, the system doesn't get them both at the same time. But if in the stream during the stream, this will happen, they will pop out in the same time. And this can be done with any of these alerts. So it's really up to you how you want to customize those things. Now let's go back to the main one. So we go back to layers and we go back to the first one and we're going to look at the settings. All right, guys, now that we are here, we can go and uh, set up each alert. I'm going to show you just one because they all look the same and you can have the same variation in any one. So once you get inside the advanced settings, you can set a different image. If you like an image instead of an animation, if you want animation, you change, you can change video. You can put your own, your own animation. You can control the volume on the animation. You can upload the sound if you want a specific sound for the alert to be happening. You can change the message. 
you can change the duration and if you are a programmer which i'm not you can actually go inside the css editor and you can edit everything you can decide anything like if you're doing by yourself and then you have variation settings what are the variation settings you can add variation let's say you want um a different alert from who for example tips you five dollars or ten right uh, let's say you want a different alert if somebody follows you or somebody subscribes you and uh, subscribe you for one month 10 months or whatever that's about it so you can put variation on it and each one can have different settings completely customizable is amazing after this you have the text settings where other magic happens here you can choose your font you can have the normal one which is nunito and if you go to emulate you will see how it looks like this is what it looks like you can change you can enable custom font if you want a specific one or you can go and pick all the google fonts that there are inside this library and let's say this one so if now you go back to emulate this is got it's gonna happen and as you can see you have endless possibilities of customization obviously you have formats you can add shadows or not and then at the end you have control over the animation as well what will happen most of the time if you have your specific your custom image or animation the text will look a little bit out of position let's just quickly load one for example this one just to try now if i go emulate you see it doesn't make too much sense so you go inside the text tab and this is where the magic happens you go inside it you go to the advanced tab and here you start to move the text so from minus 50 let's go for example minus uh, 250 uh, that might be too high, but you're just going to try and emulate again. Too high, so you go up to 10. To 10, we emulate again. And that's about it. That looks beautiful. Now, as you can see, the text appears straight away. As I told you before, you can go back on the animation settings and you can decide when the text should appear. Let's say we go for one second. Let's see what happens. And then you emulate perfect right so that's about it for the alerts so now you want to go back to the layers and then we're gonna add something else to do so you just go back on the plus button and you can see you can add really anything you like to you can have merchandise box you know have hype cup you can have store redemption you can have engagement on countdown contest giveaway you can do labels labels are the one you usually see under the picture or somewhere on the top on the bottom basically latest subscriber latest follower latest tips you know all those things you just click here you go inside that you select one let's say you want the latest new subscriber boom it creates this beautiful thing that you're gonna put wherever you want so let's say we're gonna put it underneath my face that's it as you can see you can really add anything you want you can, can completely customize everything all right guys when you're done with your customization when you're happy with your final look you just go here click save and then you click on the link copy overlay url so once you click on that link you will be copying on your clipboard the actual overlay you created so you just need to go back to obs and once you're on obs you are gonna add a new search and you're gonna add a browser search you can really call it how you want it. I just usually call them the same way I put them in stream elements. So I'm just gonna call this test. Okay, it's gonna ask you for a new URL. So you're just gonna pass in what we just copied and you're gonna make sure this is the most important thing, guys. Make sure, you wanna make sure you respect the dimension. So we went 1080, so it's 1920 by 1080 okay you must be very careful on that otherwise you're gonna have problems so you hit okay and that's about it guys whenever something happens it will be reflected as you can see we already have the new subscriber and the follower count that we put on before let's say we want to emulate a new follower 
and then a new subscriber so we're gonna see both the animations so one and then two let's go back to the obs here is our follower let's see if the subscriber boom the subscriber came out as well so basically this is all you have to do guys to customize your channel it's pretty easy it's quick i don't know if we got underneath five minutes as i wanted to but we'll discover it on the editing side right at the beginning i promised you a pro tip now i don't know if you know harris heller you know he's the owner of alpha gaming channel he's a beautiful channel i would like you to subscribe but i'm sure you're already done basically he has a discord server where he puts free stuff for us uh, new streamers to enjoy so let me bring up this discord in the right window boom here he is so as you can see here this is the alpha gaming channel in discord i will leave on the description the link together with mine if you get in the free design section and you scroll a little bit down you will see here free stuff now you remember the rotating alerts i show you on my stream elements they come from here so basically all you need to do is click on this link and it will automatically open in stream elements it will automatically install in stream elements for you and there you can go and edit and tweak every little thing that you want i really suggest you to go through this because it really helps it's really nice and you know it's harris eller it's not like the first one come right <laughs> so guys i hope this was helpful for you if you like it, please subscribe, smash the bell so you will be advised when I put some more content on, some more tutorial. And as always, guys, have a great day and have great streaming. Cheers.